Participating in research has helped me in so many different ways. It's helped me to clarify my intentions for everything that I do and to be able to back it up with knowledge, with my own research. It's so important to know what you're talking about before you say it and to come off as knowledgeable in whatever subject you choose. And research definitely informs that. I'm studying studio art. I'm concentrating in 2D. Um, my favorite thing to do is painting, though. I took a psychology class about gender roles, and it really opened my eyes. I then took a class looking at Italian Renaissance painters. And between those two, I began to wonder about gender and Italian and painting. I knew that I wanted to study abroad, but I also knew that I wanted to participate in the summer research. And so I found a way to bring the two together and do research while I was in Italy, researching the Italians and how they behave and contrast that to Americans and how we behave. I was pulling from psychology. I was able to incorporate photography and at the end it all culminated in a personal expression of my research findings in a painting that I made. The research that I've done here has given me a passion. It's created a very specific intention for what I do with my artwork. Um, sometimes I'll have an idea for a concept, but then I'll actually go and do research on that concept so I'm more informed and that helps me to better convey the message that I'm trying to send out to the world. I can create a painting that is aesthetically pleasing and can bring people to ideas that they may not have otherwise been brought to. The advisors that I've had for my research projects have really just planted little seeds that have grown in me and I've just taken that and run with it and kind of go off on my own. But then when I have questions or need clarification, I can always come back. We just flesh everything out and then I'll go off on my own and really run with it again. So right now I'm doing a project that's exploring the ideas behind gender fluidity. I'm doing three paintings of people who are kind of androgynous looking and exploring the ways that we kind of put people into a pink box and a blue box of gender and expect them to be certain ways. So I plan to uh, apply to MFA programs to get my master's in fine arts. With that I'll be able to also be a professor. So being a professor and an artist, I really have two avenues to send messages out to the world to say things that I want to say that I think are important.